left wanting more again, but uh, what can I say? I think uh, the guys that finish in front of me are, um, they are like, yeah, the biggest riders in, in the sport. So I think, uh, yeah, finishing fifth with the riders that showed up today, uh, yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm just proud. Fifth on your debut in this race, pinch yourself. It's real, it's hard yeah. to believe. Yeah, yeah, I think I need to go and look at the results <laughs> just to make sure. Because uh, I never thought I'd be uh, fighting for top five in the Tour of Flanders, but here I am. But there Did you are, and you were also making it. Asgren attacking on the Molenberg, you were right there, and from right there you remained. You had the legs, you felt that today. Yeah, I knew I felt good. Um, I crashed twice, uh, lost my computer, and was just relying on what I could get from the radio. I, I wasn't sure how far into the race we were or when the climbs were coming. I just had to, yeah, take them as they came and uh, just ask Andreas constantly what was coming up and even the riders around me how far into the race we were because I was a bit, uh, a bit lost sometimes. But maybe it's best to race on instinct like that. So. On the camera, it looked like maybe you're crying or is it pain? I'm not sure. What was going on when Pogacar, Vanderpool, those guys, Bridged up to you. What was going through your mind then? Ah, uh, yeah, I knew that I used a lot of energy to to be in front for when they came up, and um, I, yeah, like I said this morning, I just had to take some risks if I wanted to try to win today. So I did that. Went from quite early out on the Molenberg, and then when they came up to me, I I tried my best to follow on uh, the Quermont, and I was taken out of position a little bit um, by uh, some guys that were pulling off of the front, but. In the end, they, they hit it from behind with so much speed. Uh, I just had to ride as fast as I could. Well,